A video broadcast from the United States of America confirmed the settlement between Ripple and the SEC. The digital asset XRP is not a security, and Ripple Labs and the SEC will settle the legal dispute, according to a representative of the United States who made the public declaration. Now let's roll the clip into a provisional registration authority. This gives safe havens from certain activities, but it still allows for prosecution. A provisional authority cannot stop proceedings against individuals. That is completely untrue, especially considering that the SEC has prevailed in nearly 130 cases. This is untrue. They settled 130 cases, and the most recent instance of that was in the Torres ruling in the XRP Ripple case last week. For this reason, we require the ruling that the congressman is referring to when he says that Torres alone should not be used to label XRP as a digital token because it does not, by itself, represent a contract, transaction, or scheme that meets the strict criteria of an investment contract deeming though we're just starting, the XRP cryptocurrency coin isn't officially considered a security. Wales Fargo stated that XRP is expected to reach $329.90 by January 1st, coinciding with the formal launch of the first cryptocurrency trading fund and the increasing adoption of the XRP token by more institutions. This further explains why it is increasingly likely that XRP will be $329.90 by January 1st. Further details on this will be covered in the video. We have to make one announcement as soon as we enter. To all of you over this holiday season, and all it takes to enter is a simple hit of the like button. Share this and become a channel subscriber. Video Pauls is another of the most well-known exchanges for XRP. In fact, they possess more than $1 billion worth of digital assets and have faith in it, which is very amazing and indicates that they do. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the SEC meetings that formally indicate a settlement is taking place. We have seen numerous reports about these meetings, but this is the first time in history that the SEC government has formally concealed all information about its closed-door SECCL meetings. The meetings involve firmly established negotiations between Ripple Labs and the SEC, with the primary subjects of discussion being institutions and the settlement of injunctive action institutions and administrative proceedings. Settlement of litigation claims and other issues about the enforcement proceedings. Ultimately, we also learned through reports that the SEC had made a settlement offer to the CLO, which, even though it was made before the SEC formally filed the lawsuit, demonstrates their desire to settle right away when Gary Gensler took office. It was an obvious loss for the SEC, therefore, it would have been better for them to put this off the table. Therefore, it is evident to us that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission isn't in severe desperation. In a few weeks, the litigation will be resolved in any manner possible. We knew years ago that the SEC had treated Ripple Labs like a settlement platter, essentially offering the business $700 million in return for their cooperation. XRP is said to handle transactions surpassing $1.20 quadrillion, excluding the United States of America anyway, marking a necessary price of $10,000, and so we are already seeing global adoption whether it is with the United States of America or not. For settlement, which Ripple Labs refused, and now they're going back into settlement discussions. Whether they do or not, but reaching a deal with the U.S. securities and exchange to enable an increasing amount of price settlement, the commission builds upon it and essentially places the CH on top of it. $10,000 is just the beginning as more and more institutions start to accept and use the XRP digital asset, for example, but even then, the value of XRP is increasing as more and more volumes are enabled on the XRP ledger. Not only did the CTF token accept XRP, but they're also offering an incentive to anyone who owns and holds the cryptocurrency for free. Just a few hours ago, the first ever crypto trading fund, which essentially allows you to generate passive income using their crypto token, accepted XRP. The crypto trading fund token, or CFT tokens, essentially provides a mechanism to earn free passive income because it includes a framework that lets you keep 1% of everyone who has the token and doesn't sell it. Meaning that every time a transaction is made using the CFT token, those who sell their tokens straight back into your wallet. 
generates income, so you're either profiting when prices rise as a result of consumer demand or you're already profitable. You may watch your money increase when a transaction is made using the actual CFT token since 1% of that amount is reallocated back into your wallet. You may make money by doing nothing every day and checking into your wallet, where you'll notice that you have an increasing amount of CFT tokens. Despite this, the CFT token has been rising and is now up. Around 4,500 as more and more people begin to understand that this is the safest method of earning passive income and that it's entirely blockchain oriented. Additionally, we're seeing this since this is a brand new coin. There's a limited supply, I believe, which is why people are attempting to purchase it. Just 120 in total. Naturally, supply 120 million as more and more people purchase this. People must pay since there are fewer and fewer tokens available, which allows them to generate an increasing amount of passive revenue. More for each token, and as the value of the CFT token grows, the sooner you can invest if you're profitable. The greater your actual earnings. Genuinely very new, gentlemen, there are only 40 holders, therefore, the sooner you, I'm telling you guys, this is right now because I think it's very exciting. And anybody that actually owns the XRP cryptocurrency can take advantage of this and can literally make money just by going ahead and owning the XRP token. As I mentioned earlier, the more you prioritize, the more money you will make because you're going to be extremely early. The CTF token framework provides you with all the information on how this token can be used to generate passive income and how it has been a long-term system under development. Thus, if you want to purchase CTF tokens, you can do so by visiting the Buy CTF Tokens Now page. From there, you can purchase CTF, and if you need assistance, they do offer it. Website up top, which will essentially provide you guys with instructions on how to purchase and sell on their platform. Thus, they also have video people on Sushi Swap Quick Swap. Let's go back to the Federal Reserve and, more significantly, the U.S. government overall, which includes the U.S. government. The USA is starting to alter as a result of the Exchange Commission's settlement with Ripple Labs. We've also heard rumors that the Federal Server is now collaborating with Ripple Labs as part of its decision to formally embrace Ripple and XRP. They're attempting to use XRP as well. The digital asset, and by the recently introduced ISO 4217 standard, which is essentially the digital asset and currency. Worldwide currency norm right here among them, XRP has been mentioned, and Google and numerous other sources have reported on it. For instance, the Google Bridge currency, ISO code 4 XRP, is mentioned here. This is ISO 4217, and if you visit the official government website, it labels XRP using this standard, which is a 4 to 2173 letter currency code that gets put among USD, your GP, and CAT. In other words, XRP now belongs to the category of global digital assets, and most importantly, global currencies are placing themselves side by side with the US dollar. While this may seem shocking, things are moving along with this ISO 4217 standard far more quickly than expected. XRP's appreciation against the US dollar and the value of all currencies is scheduled to begin on December 31, 2023, which means that it will likely occur within a few days. The Wells Fargo announcement or the analyst's prediction cited $329.90 by January 1st and the commencement of the I-4217 standard, which includes XRP along with the U.S. dollar, is set to commence on December 31st of 2023, so we're talking about a day. And the value of XRP is set to rise in that period, most likely around that same digit of $329.99. I hope you guys appreciate this movie between each other here, and it's really important to comprehend that fact because it underlines that we are likely to witness a high value of XRP in a very short time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Turn on alerts for this video and share it. And I sincerely appreciate your viewing. I'll talk to you then.